Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something I normally never do. Today we're doing a ratings prediction for 2K18. Yes, the game's three months away, but we get to do some uh, predictions. So, this is just five players that, to be honest, they really should get an upgrade. And if 2K don't, then I don't know what they're up to. So, let's just get into the first player. Now, the first player is pretty obvious, so it is Russell Westbrook. Now, if he doesn't get an upgrade, it's kind of ridiculous. Now, I will stress, I am using 2K17's rating system, so if you're watching this in the future, like when the ratings have actually been announced and how they're actually rating players, then obviously this will be different because we still don't know how 2K are going to rate their players. We don't even know anything about the game yet. I mean, we didn't know how they were rating players till I think a week before the prelude came out. If that, it, it took them a while to f for, for them to release anything on the ratings. So how it works, I believe, is 80 to 83 was Emerald and 84 to 85, or 86. Yeah, 84 to 86 was uh, Sapphires, so. But the highest rating when the game came out was LeBron, I believe, at an 85, so yeah. So, back to Westbrook. Now, I don't really need to introduce him that much on why he should get an upgrade. Basically, he was an Emerald. He should be a Sapphire now. Uh, if you average a triple-double, something that hasn't been done in over 50 years, you probably should be up there with one of the, with the best players in the league. Now, would you say Westbrook's top five in the league? I probably would. I think a lot, a lot of people would as well. So, and you could argue he's the best point guard in the league. James Harding or Westbrook? Who have you got? But yeah, next player is kind of James Harding. So pretty much him and uh, Westbrook are pretty much... It's a it's kind of just a two-way race for um, the MVP. Now, why do why does Harding des deserve a upgrade? So if we're just talking personal numbers, points are the highest they've been in his career by 0.1. He averaged 29.1 points this season. His assists have gone up astronomically. He's now averaging 11 assists per game, as well as 8 rebounds per game. Not only that, but as a team, he is what he has done for that Houston team is insane. He dragged them to third in the West. So, yeah. Now, with James Harden's rating, it's obviously... I think he should be a Sapphire, but obviously... Completely up to you how you feel about it, whereas if him and Westbrook should be the same rating or Westbrook should be up one, obviously, completely up to you. Up next, we have Demarcus Cousins. Now, he is no longer the alpha male on uh, the Kings. He's now with the Pelicans, which, to be honest, I think that's the best thing for everyone. Personally, I think Demarcus is the best center in the league uh, as of now. Now, in 2K17, uh, Demarcus did have an 83, which is the highest tier of the Emeralds, but... I don't know, man. He just he doesn't deserve an emerald. He deserves a sapphire. So I buffed him to a solid 85 sapphire. Up next, we have the midget. <laughs> we have Isaiah Thomas. He is he did have a good season. His numbers are were crazy this season, especially his points per game went up to 29 points per game this season, which is just nuts to think about. He was the final pick of his draft class. That's just crazy to think about and he's averaging 29 points per game now i have put him on the higher tier of the emeralds he was a uh, 79 rated gold i've put him as an 83 emerald reason being i could probably think of three point guards that are better than isaiah to be honest so but again if you're a boston fan you might you probably will disagree with that but i mean he's definitely going to get an upgrade and if 2k don't i'd be very very surprised about that now, probably the biggest no-brainer is uh, Joel Embiid. Um, his first official uh, season. Um, obviously, injuries have kind of just stopped him with that. Now, I'm on the fence with this one between an emerald and a gold. I've given him a 79 gold as well as a 80 emerald. Now, he was a 73 silver in 2K17, which, when you look at him playing now, that's kind of nuts to think about. He's given Philadelphia fans hope. Uh, he says trust the process while actually uh, doing well out on the floor, so I definitely don't think he should be a silver in this game, so definitely a gold, if not an emerald, for Joel Embiid. Hey guys, that's the first video of this kind of thing. Um, 
I will be doing more of these once the game comes out. I may also do downgrades on how I feel. <laughs> Mellow. Um, but yeah, let me know just how you thought this was. Let me know on the card design. Took me a while to actually make that, but uh, I think it turned out okay. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Take care.